After analyzing thousands of replays from players up to 7k MMR and achieving more than 3000 hours of coaching experience as a Dota 2 coach, here is what I learned from my coaching journey so far. Number 1. Almost every player that I've coached below 5k MMR tend to prioritize creeps over heroes in lane, even when favorable traits are presented. They do not consider advantageous traits by factoring in 2v1 scenarios, health and level advantage, and mana and items among many other factors as well. They mainly go into lanes preemptively thinking that the lane is over before it even began, based on the opponent's drafts. They also do not see openings to treat effectively, even when put into favorable positions based on how their partner in lane plays or how the enemy mid laner plays. Number 2. Majority of players do not understand how to play around timings. They are mainly playing around the wrong timings of their hero spikes and tend to develop false sense of securities when they execute actions in the game. A few key examples are when they rush to group too early without correct information, do not have proper itemization yet, and do not consider risk versus reward based on their true power spikes. This often leads to random plays and movements being performed around the map that serve either no purpose or mostly generate negative results. Number 3. In low MMR games, the concept of pushing waves simply do not exist. To many of these players, pushing waves and hitting jungle camps are considered as farming, rather than understanding why they are doing what they are doing. For example, when a support holds a lane because a core is somewhere else farming jungle camps, that is generally looked down upon in low MMR. This is because they see it as stealing farm, rather than seeing it as forcing enemies to react to their push and allowing their cores safe farm. Think heroes like Kotal, Hoodwink, and Tramp Protector. You tend to see these heroes in high MMR hide in trees and continuously keep waves pushed in. This directly leads to more control around the map as the waves are pushed in and enemies need to react to defend their towers from the waves pushing in. Number 4. What can go wrong will go wrong. I have seen countless amounts of times where players just get caught randomly by walking into fog of war, hitting a tower when enemies are missing, attempting to clear waves without assessing threats around the map, and generally just feeding when their threats pop out of nowhere and kill them. This is referred to as game sense, whereby a gut instinct is developed the more you play the game as you continuously assess every decision you make, what heroes can and cannot kill you around the map. The better your game sense is, generally the higher you will climb. This aspect of the game tends to be lacking in the lower brackets of the game. Number 5. Dota is treated as a black and white game in lower MMR players where actions are restricted to their roles rather than constantly adjusting and solving problems. A good example is when mid laners default to ganking and creating space all the time without understanding why they are even ganking for or without considering the likelihood of their ganks succeeding based on many variables such as health and level advantage as well as time taken to execute the ganks. Hey guys, before we continue with this video, I would like to just take a quick moment to ask that you like, comment, share and subscribe to my videos and YouTube channel. Your support will really help me grow my channel. Also, you can check out my Fiverr page if you are interested in coaching sessions with me. Thank you. In order to fix some of these problems, some key recommendations are as follows. Firstly, always be on the lookout for good traits in lane, especially at the early levels of 1, 2, and 3 to zone your opponents out from the lane. Secondly, learn to make high probability plays rather than relying on decisions that are gambles. Truly understand how your hero works and what makes up a kill for a hero and your allies' heroes to decide when and what plays to make. Thirdly, learn to push waves whenever you have nothing to do. Identify a camp to hit or a wave to push that is safe instead of sitting around whenever possible in order to be effective in your movements and still contribute to lane pressure. Fourthly, always think about the worst case scenario in whatever situation you are placed in or any actions you are making. Think about the threats that are missing and whether or not you might get caught out of nowhere. Lastly and ultimately, refrain from viewing Dota as a game that restricts your actions according to your roles. Learn to prioritize how to make decisions based on the state of the game, whether that be pushing, jungling, ganking, or taking objectives, regardless of your role. I hope this video helps some of you understand what common mistakes you might be making and how you should be approaching these mistakes to correct them instead. Thank you for watching, until next time.